Oh, I'm going to light it with Belsif. I'm your host, freaking Belsif. As you can see, in the basement here, I've been very busy. Now, this used to be a functional shitter. Hole here with a moldy shower and a moldy, moldy sink over there. I wanted to fix the shower and put a new shower in this bathroom. And as you can see, now you don't have a bathroom. All I want to do is change the shower. Frick! So now, I'm in the process of a new bathroom. Got to re-insulate the wall. Got to change the window. Got to level this concrete out because it looks like they put self-leveling schmuck in here. So I got to self-level the floor again. I want to move this wall two inches over, four inches over. Give me a little bit more room here. And I'm going to move this wall over to about here, I think. About here, right about here. Oh, I should go back and tell you, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm converting my basement into an apartment for my daughter. Because as you know, in Ontario and everywhere else, the cost of living has gone through the roof. So my daughter's 13 now. I figure this takes me 10 years. I'll have a workable apartment in my basement that I can move the daughter down there, down here, and she's out of my hair. And maybe she can pay me a little bit of rent too. So that's my plan. So this over here is going to be an entrance into the mud room, right? This is a mud room here. I'm going to have a stackable washer dryer right here. And then I'm going to have a countertop. Boop! And then the stove's going to be here because I got to put a vent in. Then we're going to do the sink and stuff right here because I got plumbing right here. So the fridge can go over there. That wall's going over a foot and a half. We're going to carry this wall across with the door. We're going to knock this wall out and put a beam in here. This is a supporting wall. So we're going to have to, don't mind the mess. This is a basement. I don't use it. So we'll knock this out, put a beam in. This will be the living room. Bedroom will be back in here with a walk-in closet in the corner. For If you're wondering what this is, this is just a shit room. As you can see with lots of garbage. The Halloween stuff. So this will be a bedroom. The wall will be out to about, I don't know, here or somewhere. Changed my sub pump the other day because she had a little bit of a problem here, Captain. And uh, I don't think it's supposed to do that. It still worked, believe it or not, though. That's, that's amazing. It definitely was a good sub pump. So I put a just a temporary one in. And it was this one that was dicked over over here so that's temporary but it seems to be working good hey okay, check it out how you doing friggin right you are but we got to take this wall out over here and i'm going to carry on with a two by four through here but the problem i got now that i'm doing this is this drain the stand-up shower was against the wall and it was notched into the wall so now the sewer's in the wrong spot so I want to knock that up and I want to bring it over. I want to take the shitter which was here, fill that in, bring it over to here, which should be hard because there's the line. So we'll knock this out, put the shitter here, sink here, and then I'm going to put a walk-in shower right over here. I'm going to put a little vent in up here to vent out. What do you think? I think it sounds like a dream. I think it sounds like very expensive, especially once I get it knocking floors out. But it's got to be done because I'm insulating this wall no matter what. And that wall is going to be re-insulated because that's just ridiculous. At least I got a water trough there. Okay. That's all right. Even though I haven't had water in this basement since I lived here, obviously they used to because of all the holes that are drilled into the foundation. Ever since they put the lines in, which is big O right there outside the window. I'm pretty sure they redid around the foundation of this house because I've been here for 13 years and not have one water problem, except for a sub pump quit once. So I think we're good now. Hope we're good now. But this wall's gonna come out because there's mold on it. Mold in the corner there. Just suck that and breathe it in. It's good for you, right? Maybe not. I'm also very fat now, as you can tell, and I gotta lose some weight. So I'm not part of this wall out here watching me. And as you can see, it's kind of been a pain in the ass it has, but I've been cleaning up as I go, so it hasn't been too bad. 
So that's one good thing, I guess. But this should come apart pretty easy. There's not much holding this shit together, to be honest with you. And all this wood have just thrown out the window. So you don't have to do 102 steps up and down, which I have been doing seven truckloads of garbage. And I've been up and down these stairs. Lots. And, oh! They put a nail to stay in there, Jim. Holy moly. There we go. So, in here used to be where I stored all my Christmas stuff. And uh, I'm not storing there anymore, as you can see. Let's open this window up. This is why I'm changing the window. Look how antique this sucker is. There we go. Okay, now I can just take my wood launcher out the window. Because I ain't reusing any of this shit. I'm gonna burn it. Because why wouldn't I? There we go. The only thing I can't throw out the window is drywall. I have to manually carry this all upstairs, which is a pain in my asshole. That means I gotta take the ceiling down too because I gotta move this wall over. Great. Careful! Easy! Gentle! Holy! It's coming out of everywhere, Captain. Where in the F did I put that? Oh, there it is. Right where it was. Right where it needed to be. My knife. The best way to take drywall out is to score the line you want off. Like so. I think that blade is done. Score it there. We'll score it down here. Like that. And we should be able to yank that off there. We have electric off the car sauce. Ready? Oh, yeah, that worked good. Obviously, that's a joint. Frank. That's not what I want. Oh, freak. High tech. Insulation here, Jim. Stop tapping. There we go. Just like that. Only the whole thing comes over that easy. Hi. Ah. Uh. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Along for the whole ride on this thing. The problem is, it's really hard to edit and do all this at the same time, and then run a run a run a work job and a family as well. It gets kind of hard. You guys know that. How's this? Oh, lag bolted into the cement. The only place I don't want it to be. Should take another two by four out so I don't have to keep walking around in circles. That's probably a smart idea. I said it was smart. That come off easy. Oh, careful! Easy. How you doing? Not too bad. Oh, careful! Ready? Out the window. Hundred bucks says you didn't even see that. You see my balls instead. How do they look? Pretty good. Right on. All right, I'm gonna stop there. For now, because next I gotta take the ceiling down. I just wanna remove what I have to to move the wall. I should've started recording before I'm wore out. I've been doing this for like an hour and a half now. And now I hit record on the camera and now I'm tired. Cause I did work all day. That's falling out right now with this. Oh, this is cocked over. So they got, look at this. I wanna see something that's funny. This is the kind of crap I'm dealing with right now. So they got this dropped an inch. To cover the fuel, the cover the water line, right? You gotta have the ceiling below the water line. So instead of running the water line along the edge of the house where I would have done it, we're just in for them, just in from so you have a little box. They ran down the middle. But why would you make the wall the same height as this? So now I don't have a choice. I have to take this wall down because they butted the drywall up there but that's not the way you should do it you should have a nice flat corner so I'm gonna take this back to the next beam 
And that's gonna be my lineup, I think. Maybe not. I don't know if I have enough room. I'm gonna figure something out there to make it right. That's the joys of doing renovations. Home renovations suck. They're fun. I like doing them. But I just wish the money was endless. That way you just keep going. But you can't. You gotta go as you go. It looks like it might be a little bit of mold right there, dude. Or it's just really dried out. Could be dirty. It's probably mold. There's been a lot of mold down here. Not like terrible. I had a hammer out the friggin'. You should have seen the thickness of that thing. I'll slap a few pictures in here. Look at that. And look at this. See? That's what I started with. Or that's what I was working with. I wanted to show you what I was doing down here. I wanted to show you what I've been up to. This is what I've been up to. If you want to see more of this, just let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to just stick the camera somewhere and let it roll while I'm working on it. The only problem is when I'm doing that, I kind of like to talk to the camera too. So if I don't talk to the camera, I'll just put some music on for you. If you want to watch this, because I'll show it to you. Because I got to do some wire undoing here. And you know, you got to make sure you don't get all electric cock suckered when you're doing that. We got to take all that wire out. That's my only light, so we're going to have to rehook it up, hang in there. We got a whole bunch of wire here. We might run a straight line. We have a straight line. I just got to figure out what line's what. Because I have two lines. This line, oh, this line probably goes to this light. How do I turn that light on? Oh, right here. Well, I'll be dipped. I forgot I left that hooked up. Now I can really see what I'm doing. Frig! So I do have one line. One line coming in. This line goes back. Oh, that line goes all the way back. So that's a live line too. That must have been for the office. It used to be in this corner right here. And there used to be a wall down here, which was horrible. All this is gonna come down. All that, the wall's gonna come out. All this is gonna come down. All this two by four is gonna come off. Holy. This drywall's gotta come down because I gotta make it all the same height. Unless I move the water line over and then I can go right to the rafters. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you would do if you were home renovating. Watch out for the hammer, Captain. That light's gotta come out. This looks like a lot of work, but it's not. Okay, maybe it's a little bit. First thing we gotta do though is get a vent, two by four, some insulation, a new window, and then we'll roll from there. Friggin' right we will. Glad you're all still around. I see I hit 6,500 subscribers and I haven't even put, in, put out videos lately, so I'm glad you're here. I've come a long way. I try not to be so goofy, but it's hard because it's just the way I am. So I'm glad you're all still here. Stick around and we'll see how this turns out the next 10 years. Should be pretty good. So I got you for 10 years for sure because you're gonna want to stick around for that. Friggin' right you are. But anyways, love y'all. Until the next one, we'll see you then.